Hello everyone, my name is Christian from TradeVola, trading with know-how and transparency. Today we want to discuss um, how to subscribe to market data and how to get the permission to trade the right markets. All this and many more we will show you today in our videos. So if you don't want to miss any of our videos in the future, make sure to subscribe here to our channel. I would be happy and I'm grateful for any support. But now let's have a look at the screen and I will show you all the details for the market data and the permission for trading. Yeah, today we want to check how to add or apply for market data and also how to get the right trading permission where you can find all these settings. I mean, it's pretty easy if you're on the client portal, you see main things like portfolio trade and how to transfer money or even how to get your reports. That's all in included in, you, in the menu here, but when it comes to trading permission and market data, you always have to go to the small head and shoulder symbol next to your name here in the right corner. As soon as you click on the symbol itself, you will have here the settings and under settings you find everything related to your account, starting from your address, what you can change here, also the type of your account and uh, what we discussed here trading permission. So we will have a look and just look, click here to the trading permission. You will already see if there is something what you did with the account opening. It's already here marked or like uh, highlighted white. But let's say if I want to trade now futures, I can request this and just need to add the country where I want to trade futures. Go to continue. And then very important, you see here, I have no information or no experience uh, in future trading. In this case, I would not be able to apply for future trading, but you can always change also your experience. And if I say, okay, I traded this with a very good amount and a good knowledge in the last year, I should be also able to get this approved. At the end, you have to sign for the whole thing and click to continue. There's a few documents depending on the markets, uh, what you normally need to sign. And then it can take up to 24 hours. Uh, here you see the trading permission is already approved and I just go to okay and can start trading now futures. Um, in other cases, like I said, it can sometimes take up to 24 hours. That's the trading permission. The other thing, what's also, I think, quite important and what you also need to know before you start, many people normally struggle a little bit, is the market data subscription. You see it here already highlighted, or you can also go here under trading platform, market data subscriptions. And then we will have an overview of everything what we already applied with the monthly amount, what we are paying for it. But if you want to change anything you have here the small symbol the more small icon to configure your market data we will jump to this overview because now we have an overview divided in the different areas let's say we want to have some market data here for europe we can click to europe we can here go to level one and then normally you see the different exchanges there's also some some bundles available where more than one exchange is provided to you. So you need to check at the end what the, what you need to see or what you need to have for your trading. Another easy step to get the right market data is um, also something I want to show you. For example, you are in the Trader Workstation and you have here SAP and you want to add the market data for this symbol just go right click to the symbol and then manage market data and it will automatically jump in your account management in the settings and in the market data subscription so it's much faster you are directly here but one step you still need to do you need to go to configure and then also start to select europe north america south america whatever you want to see and if you're not sure about which markets, which market data you need to apply to. You can also check always um, in the symbol description, for example, or here with SAP, it's directly written behind. It's listed in IBIS. 
And for example, if I go to Tesla and also with a right click, I have here financial instrument info and description. There you normally have some, some more information on the symbol itself. You see here primary exchange NASDAQ and for every other symbol you will see the same. So just right click on the symbol, go to financial instrument info and description and you will see the symbol, especially what you put in your list in which um, market it's included and then you can check for this exactly in your settings, in your client portal to get here the right market data. So, and if you chose your right market data, we can do this for example, let's see if there's anything that's already included. Okay, let's put this market data here. Then the same what we had with the permissions, um, just continue. We have a free market data here. And at the end, normally you also need to sign the whole thing. Go to continue and then you have overview about everything, what you added and how much you need to pay. So then that's it for the market data subscription. There's not more what you need to know. Um, like I said, it's just important to know these two steps at the beginning, how to get to the settings and how to find the market data subscription, as well as here um, the trading permission and everything else you can also find here as an overview. So I hope uh, this was helpful and will be useful for you to get the right settings in the future here in your client portal. So I hope this was helpful and uh, made it a little bit more easy for you to find the right settings in your client portal, especially after this will be changed every few months. It's um, important to have this up to date. So uh, if you don't want to miss any of the videos, just make sure like in the beginning to subscribe to our channel. I will be happy and uh, hope to welcome you here soon again. Bye bye.